Hey guys, it's NST, Never Stop Traveling, and today we're gonna go over the fastest way to get a passport if you're from the USA. So in this video, I'll be going over the fastest and the easiest ways to get a US passport. Also, how to get a passport if you're trying to, um, if you're planning for a future trip and you're not in a hurry to get uh, the passport. It's a little bit cheaper to do it that way. Uh, Alright guys, so the first thing you need to do is you need to complete your DS-11 uh, form. You can find that on the State Department website. You can complete it online or you can print it out and I'll put a link for that in the bottom. The second thing you'll do is print and complete the form, the DS-11 form, and uh, make sure you don't sign it. And then you guys will have some passport photos taken. I believe they're one by two inch. I might be wrong, but when you go to the State Department website, they give you all the all the measurements and everything, exactly what they want for their passport or for the passport application. And then you guys will need to photocopy your proof of US citizenship, um, like your birth certificate, uh, a copy of your old passport. If you do your old passport, I believe you have to send in your old passport, or if you go directly to an embassy, a consulate, or uh, like if you're getting a no new passport in a foreign country, uh, like I had to do for this one, for this guy, you can bring in the passport and they might let you hold on to it, especially if you're obviously in a different country you need to prove that you have uh, the right to stay in that country. So they'll generally let you hold on to it, but if you're applying from the States, as I remember, if I remember correctly, they will ask for you to mail in or give them the passport uh, when you're getting an application for a new passport. Now all this information, if you just want to skip this video and go to the link in the description box, I'll put it for the USPS.com and for, the, for getting your passport there. They'll give you all the information you need, but if you want to, if you want me to walk you through it, I'll explain how you can get a passport for your first time, your second time, or if you're in a hurry and how to get a kind of a, a sped up version of it versus waiting you know, longer periods of time. Okay, so you're, if you're a first time passport applier, if you're getting your first passport and you're from the US or you have, if you're a new resident of the US and you're getting your, your new first passport there, um, what you're gonna need to do is you need to gather up all the forms, like the DS-11 form, fill that out, um, you need to get your proof of citizenship or residency in the U.S. and then you're going to uh, need to find out the exact fees for how much your passport is. I think it's anywhere from, I want to say, $70 to $200 depending on how fast you do it. Uh, make sure when you guys are filling out the application that it doesn't cost any difference but you can get a larger passport, um, one with more pages for the same price. So my, this is my second passport, and this one has 28, 28 pages, which is pretty good, but if you plan to be doing a lot of traveling, or maybe you just don't know if you're gonna do a lot of traveling, it doesn't cost any different to get the bigger book, and um, it's 52 pages. I actually had the, the 28, and I still had, um, it's expired now because they punched holes in it, but I still had, I think an additional, Let's see, expired in 23 and it's 2018. So yeah, I had an additional five more years to use this passport, but I already filled it up. So I had to apply for a new one. And now that I have a new one, because I'm doing a lot of traveling this next year, um, I'll be going for six to nine months, maybe longer. Hopefully I continue traveling, but um, I'm going to need to apply for a new passport with it when this one fills up. And you can actually get two valid passports but I'll go over that in another video if you guys want me to, but that's if you have gone to a certain nation and it's only good for four years, that second passport, so that way some nations don't like visas from certain countries. But um, yeah, I digress. Let's go into step two, the, the second type of passport. So now in the second step, once you have your application package, once you have your photos, um, your proof, proof of citizenship, maybe your birth certificate or your old passport, or you have the end, you have the DS-11 form. You can uh, calculate the price and everything, or you can, go to your you can go to your local UPS office and they'll tell you the exact price, and then you'll submit the form through them. I believe they'll mail it off. I actually have it, haven't done it this way. Um, I've got it at an embassy, and then 
I got it through, yeah, both the times I've actually gotten my passports, I didn't get them in the US. I got this passport for the US, I got it in Japan, and then this passport I got here in Israel. So uh, I'm not too familiar with doing the whole process in the States, but um, according to the website, you guys can, uh, you don't have to trust me, you can go there and check it out yourself. It's saying that you need to, when you go to the post office, they'll tell you, you know, how much exactly it costs and whatnot. And you can pay through credit card, you can pay through cashier's check, it looks like, and pay, you can pay through cash as well. So it looks like the post office fee is $35 and the passport or post office photo fee is $15. Now you can go on the State Department website and find out the exact price for your situation for uh, what type of passport you're getting. Okay guys, so a lot of people don't know this, but there's actually four types of passports. There might be more for the US, but um, the ones that I'm aware of are the passport card, which a lot of people wouldn't consider that a passport, um, but you can go into Canada and Mexico with that. And then they have the traditional uh, civilian or the blue passport that uh, most people are familiar with it's you know just the common blue passport and then they have it's kind of a maroon or a red passport and that is the official passport a lot of times um, government employees will use that to if they're doing you know jobs in different countries or if they're working at embassies um, in different countries for the u.s and then they have um, the diplomatic passport. The diplomatic passport is the, I believe it's the strongest US passport you can have. And it's a black, uh, black passport. Um, I'm sure that people at embassies also have those. I'm sure that representatives for the US have them. I'm not too sure about that, but if you guys want me to make a video about the different types of passports, diplomatic, um, the civilian traditional, and the official passport, um, just got, let me know, put it in the comments below, and maybe I'll make you know, three more videos about those. But let's get back into this video and how to get your passports um, or your passport. So if you type it in on Google, it's saying the cost of a uh, US passport for the fees and everything for, the, for an adult would be 145. So $145 for an adult passport um, for all the fees and whatnot, getting it processed and and then it would be for a child, at least someone who's 18 or younger, or younger than 18, it would be $115. So that's the total fees. I could be wrong, it might be different depending on if you're getting a, um, a second passport, or if you're getting an official, or if you're getting a diplomatic, but for the most part, I think a very small percentage of people watching this video will be, if any, will be getting an official or a diplomatic. Your probably, guys are probably just getting one of these or a, a second valid US passport or passport ID. If you're just going to Canada and Mexico and you'll be doing a lot of traveling between, say you're going there every week, if you're a truck driver or something, um, I would just recommend getting the passport ID because um, especially if you get the smaller book, I mean obviously you probably get the bigger one after watching this video, but your book will fill up very quick um, if you do get stamped going into Canada and back. I haven't gone to Canada in a little bit, sometime last year, the year before is the last time I was there. I don't believe they stamped my passport, so you should be good. It's basically just like showing an ID when you go into, um, I don't know, when you're trying to buy alcohol or something. They just look at it, make sure that you're who you are, and then they, they push you along your way. All right guys, so we're gonna go over the fastest way to get your passport. Now, um, after you've gathered all the information, got everything, if you're not in a hurry, go ahead, just process your passport. It might take you, you know, 10 to 15 days for me. It usually takes a week or so if you're in a foreign country and you bring it to the embassy. Um, every time I've done that, um, it's only taken about eight days for them to get back to me or about 10 days to have them finish it and process it. But if you're doing it from the United States, I'll put a link in below for the website that I'm following for this and you can get it for as fast as 24 hours or one day, or if you're in no hurry, you know, eight to 14 days. And you might ask, what's the benefit of waiting eight to 14 days to get a passport when I can get in 24 days? You know, I'm a little antsy, I'm anxious, and I just wanna get it. Well, if you're not in a hurry, I would recommend taking your time to get your passport because it wouldn't cost as much. So it can cost as little as $115, or I believe 135 
if you're in, in no hurry, it might take you know eight to 14 days, but it can cost as much as $349. Now that's almost, that's twice as much, almost three times as much, depending on how little, if you're under 18 or whatnot. Um, and it's just, I just don't think it's worth it if you're, if you're not in a hurry. But if you are in a hurry, um, don't worry, you can get the passport very fast, but I believe you do need proof of your travel plans with 14 to 30 days in advance, depending if you have a visa or not. If you have, if you need a visa for this country, then I think you can get it in uh, the shorter time. You just have to have travel plans of in 14 days. And then if you don't need a visa, I think it has to be, uh, it can be up to 30 days. For, if you're trying to get a passport in 24 hours, one day, it'll cost you $349. Now, if you have two days, it'll cost you $299. If you're comfortable with waiting three to four days, it'll cost you $249. Now, if you can wait five to seven days, it'll cost you $179. Now, according to this website, for eight to 14 days processing time to get your new passport, it'll cost you $119. Now, that's according to fastpassports.co. I'll put that link in the description box below again. And yeah, you guys can check it out. If you don't believe me, or if you should want to check it out and um, do it for yourself, go for it. I highly recommend it. Uh, but if you're not in a hurry, you know, and you want to process your passport, there's you know, different ways to do it. But hopefully the links in the box below will help you out. Now guys, I really hope that this has been helpful. This has been NST, Never Stop Traveling. Um, if you guys have any other questions or any other videos you want me to make, maybe I can make a video about the different types of passports, the, uh, the different types from your traditional blue passport, your red official, or your black uh, diplomatic passport. If you want me to go over those, just put it in the comment box below, and maybe I can make videos on those. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Take care, have a good day.